Meanwhile, floods continue to wreak havoc in parts of the country. Meru County has for the last two days experienced huge downpours, leading to massive loss of property. Elsewhere in Narok, residents are still worried about major cracks on roads, which uh, has interfered with transportation in the area. Firefighters in Meru County had to be called in to rescue traders and residents of Kwadhambi in Majengo near Meru Town after a heavy downpour which started early in the afternoon left them marooned. Businessmen in the town are counting losses after their businesses were submerged in water. To Garissa now where the floods in Mororo, Madogo and Anole villages uh, in Bura and Galolo constituencies, Tano River County, have so far affected more than 8,000 families uh, with this number set to rise as the rains continue. Some of the displaced families are now camping at Anole while others have sought refuge on roadsides, their houses uninhabitable. Uh, Wilkes Sanyabwa reports. They were forced to put up shelter from any bits and pieces they could get their hands on using every available space. The luxuries of home gone, swept away by the raging flood waters. This the situation in Tana River County where 8,000 households have been affected by the heavy rains. The most affected areas include Boka, where 300 families have lost their homes, Asako, Adama, Madogo and Mororo, where families have also been displaced. These areas in Bura and Galole constituencies, households in Mnazini in Garsen have also been affected by the floods.
Well, at least 12 people died in Kolkata and other parts of West Bengal after heavy rains and strong winds on Tuesday evening. Five people ki uh, were killed in Kolkata, five in uh, Howrah, and one in Bankura, and one in Hooghly. Heavy rains along with uh, strong storms of nearly 100 kilometers per hour struck Kolkata twice. Flights, train services, and traffic in Kolkata were severely hit too due to the thunderstorm with the strong winds. Along with that, uh, metro services have also been stopped indefinitely. Regardez, là ils sont de plus en plus gros. Regarde, regarde, là ils sont plus gros. Là ils sont plus gros. Comment Là ils sont plus gros. Regardez ça. La voiture. Regardez ça sur la voiture. Pourquoi elle filme la voiture Tu entends Oui, oui, oui. Les gens peur. Eh, il y a même des gars dans sa voiture pour prendre des photos. <rire> C'est l'année là, l'auto a mort. La voiture est morte.
Gracias ahora precaución.
miren cómo está aquí el río y hasta la calle ya está inundada desbordada totalmente Porque la puerta está abierta para que la no, llave. No, 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 no. Ay, no, 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 o morro, olha só o carro acabou de descer a ladeira, desgovernou vai bater ali e fica preso olha só o que aconteceu o carro desceu a ladeira, gente tá demais imagina só como é que tá, segura aqui pra não subir, vai poder gravar lá em cima vai nossa senhora, coitado do carro desse carro quadro da escola de samba, olha a quantidade de água que está descendo, imagine só, nunca vi uma coisa dessa, agora com esse carro aqui também, que acabou de descer a ladeira, junto com a água, a coisa está feia.
Santa Pereira toda alagada, gente, toda. Olha aqui, isso aqui é o centro de Vitória. Mas de qualquer forma, é um número curioso que está por trás também dessa saga de empreendedorismo que se tem aqui no Brasil. Neem de Markaansplaats. Ik ga op een van de Zweedse compleet schaatsen. قد غرقنا ايها الاصدقاء والاخوه اننا نغرق اني اغرق 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 المول كله طاف جينا نشتري غريضات لما حبسنا المول طاف شو نسوي يا رب وين Here we have a removal of a stranded occupant from an apartment. She requested to be removed, not a mandatory evacuation. When we went in, 
we just got like stuck on like a pothole and then that's when everything just started going downhill from there it's just the water started rushing in those guys tried to get in there they got stuck we couldn't get out a battery was under the water completely cut off it was crazy other parts of newark like neck lane look like a lake nearby in rahway on st george's street and new brunswick avenue two to three feet of water drivers ignoring the police barricade found themselves stuck in the darkness of the overpass a driver attempts to get out of his car into the water and tries to push his car out further north in hackensack hudson street is completely underwater reports of cars stuck there as well a Authorities are asking drivers to not drive into flooded roadways. If you are unable to get to your destination, park in a dry area and wait for the water to recede. Here is a look at Route 1 in South Brunswick. Exit ramps completely covered. In Hoboken, the wind so strong, two boats were damaged when pushed up against the rocks at Hoboken Cove. Other headlines, flooded streets, water-filled subway stations, and trees hitting homes. We sure had some wild weather blow through our area today, and people are still cleaning up tonight. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live now at Weehawken Cove in Hoboken. Ali. Well, Christine, we had a short reprieve this evening from that brutal weather, but the wind feels like it's kicking back up again out here. Now, take a look at how today's storm left some of the boats here at this cove. We counted five sailboats, either washed up on the rocks or capsized, and they weren't the only things that got caught up by the currents. Trapped by fast moving flood water in Hawthorne, New Jersey, Mark Sokol had to stand on a flower pot this morning until firefighters came to the rescue. It was gushing over here at like 30 miles an hour and three feet of water that can that can push you over down the stream. Sokol says the water was only ankle deep when he walked into his warehouse around 9 a.m. to reinforce the doors. But a half hour later, if he would have stepped into the current, he would have been swept away. There's no way a person would have been able to survive that. Tonight, drivers in Teterboro are still stuck in their cars. Streets became canals in Hackensack as well. Emergency responders had to escort people in lifeboats through the streets. But a boat sure would have come in handy on the subway. That is, if you could make it down the waterfall-like staircase in Hamilton Heights or under the leaky ceiling to the F train in Bryant Park. And then there's the wind. Scaffolding went flying along Lincoln Road in Brooklyn, hitting a man on the sidewalk. And in Mount Vernon, this massive tree uprooted and fell onto a family's home, taking down power lines and splintering their ceiling and walls. I heard a rumble, and then my bed started shaking. And then the next thing I know, I wake up and I start to panic. I was afraid that was going to collapse on me. Well, thankfully, no one in his family was injured. Neither was anyone here when these boats tipped over. Now, of course, comes the cleanup before it rains again. We're live in Hoboken, New Jersey. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. That's good. Keep keep zooming out. Try to get that huge cloud of smoke. With the wind changes, uh, with lower humidities, increased wind speeds, higher temperatures. And so we're trying to get some things secured. So like I said, we're trying to do everything we can to prepare for tomorrow when the wind changes. That's right, Kelly, you're looking at this home that's going up. Now I want you to look at it very closely. Look how much wind is coming across that house. 
Look how hard the wind is blowing. That is just one of many structures, but look what's just south of it here. This is what started this house on fire as we pull back wide here, and you're gonna look at all the cedars to the left here. Go a little bit left there, Rich. And you're going there's where the, that's what started right there. We just had an air attack plane fly through our shot there. But that's just one of many structures. We pull back, take a wide street scope shot here. We're 670, and uh, you'd see 640 right there, and 2330 Road. That's where that home is located, and there's homes in front of this, Kelly and Amanda. So they're 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 definitely in danger on the north side of 270. Jim Garfoyne live from Bob Mills. Scott is nine. Back to you. Firefighters and forecasters are predicting the highest fire risk in a decade in Oklahoma, as well as the Texas Panhandle, for today. So far, wildfires have killed two people and forced thousands from their homes and burned hundreds of thousands of acres in both states. Firefighters across Texas, including some from our area, are, are helping to battle some of those fires.